to go. Just take what you're doing it for. That's right. Praise the Lord. I want to just... I want to read uh, from Colossians, where we were just uh, teaching from. I want, I want to read you. This is Paul's response towards legalism. Not legalism, but Christ. Listen to what he wrote. Colossians 2, 11 says, In him you were, you were also circumcised with circumcision made without hands, by the putting on, by the putting off the body of the sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Christ. Bury with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him in faith in the work of the God, who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespasses, in the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made you alive together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, we made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in, in it. I am so excited for what God is doing in Chanel's life. She received the Lord uh, only about a week and a half ago, and I told her the next thing scripture the Bible says to do is to be baptized. We did that, not for salvation. This is not, she's already saved, she's going to heaven. So isn't Kevin, he's a saved man. We've reaffirmed his faith tonight. But we do this as an outward show, a demonstration of what God has done in the world. And Chanel and Kevin received the Lord. The old man, the sin that was in Adam, dies. Okay, and when we receive Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit makes us alive and we're resurrected into the new life, the new creation God has made us. And we enjoy the promise of eternity because of it. And so Chanel has decided today to be baptized because she wants you all to know, she wants the world to know. I pray there's people looking out their windows saying, what are these widows doing? Woohoo! They'll tell them, this is baptism. This is what Jesus Christ can do in the life of a believer. And so I'm going to take Chanel in the ocean. We're going to confirm her faith. And then I'm going to baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why don't you come up with me first? Oh, man. I know. <laughs> I did, I asked her to write a writing. She likes to write poetry and writing, and I, I told her a week ago, I said, before you get back, I want you to write something about what God has done inwardly in your life, and she did write something. Do you want to read it? I don't want to read it. You don't want to read it. All right. All right, listen up. You have opened my eyes to see that you are what I've been searching my whole life for. No matter how long or how I search, I could never find that one thing that would fill that empty hole. Now I see that all I had to do was open my eyes and hear and believe that you are a glorious, wondrous God and you could do miracles in my life. You have provided such a wonderful life for me. I just needed to make you a part of it and I would never have to worry again. And I am so grateful that I have such a forgiving God in my life. Now as you forgive me of my sins and fill my body with your love, I feel that I can finally breathe and I can live my life the way you intended me to. Continue to fill that hole I once had. Help me to obey you and to live by your word. And I will forever praise your name and give you the glory. Let's, let's, Amen. let's, let's Amen. applaud that. Amen. That it doesn't take much for me to cry, so I'm not... But that was beautiful.
Yeah, you were part of 